Hi all, welcome back to our channel Amnet for Analytics. In this video tutorial, we will be learning that how you can use the first row of any table as a header for that table, or even you can do the vice versa of it. That is, using the header as the first row of the data. So without wasting time, let's move on to the demo and see what are the few loopholes in it and how advantages it can be in many particular scenarios. So let us suppose uh, you pulled in some data and you get this kind of data, let's say the column 1, column 2 and the for the data of column 1 you have name, John, Marcus, Sam, Molly and for column 2 you have the data like age, 21, 19, 24, 22. So by looking at the data, it is clear to us that the first row of these of this table is a header or which it should have been a header. So how I can convert this first row as a header for this table? All you have to do is just select your table to buy table in the home tab only. Here is the option that you can see. Under this, there are two options that is use first row as headers, use headers as first row. So for this scenario, we will be clicking on the first option that is use first row as header and here you can see that it has automatically converted the first row to header, the name and the age and also it has modified the type of the age column which earlier was, earlier was like say text type, now it's of whole number type. So that is how you can use it. Now just to converse it, what you have to do is go back over here and click over this option, use headers at first row. So this, in this way you can do the required things, but now the question arises, what will happen if I keep on using the first row as header until I reach the last row and the table gets empty, what will happen after that? So let's try that and see what are the results. So let's move on to this. So now we have reached the last row and the table has become empty. So ideally, if I would be doing this thing, there, kind, there might be two scenarios. Either it can throw an arrow or it make them empty. And there could be a third one and this is the third one. Nothing happens. The column name remains as it is because the table is empty, there is no value. So it automatically detected there is no value. So let's leave the column name as it is as it was. So that is the thing to note over here. Now one thing uh, which I think we may have missed is when I move to the last row that is when I use this last row as the header when the table became empty what were, what were the data types then? For this column the data type is currently whole number now once I go to this one, now it has become to decimal. For an empty table, it has converted the data type to decimal. Ideally, we should, should have left to all over only because it wasn't an issue. Now, the, another thing is, you might be thinking that now if I go and do this, use header as first row, so I will be getting complete data back, right? So this is our data. Now and all I have done is just move to the last row and the same thing that I did previously for you. So now perform that thing. Now all the myths are broken. I have used the header as the first row but all my data, the previous data is lost. Now it is column 1 and column 2. So when I will be clicking on this second option again these column 1 and column 2 will be coming down as the row. So what will happen if I use this option infinitely? Like for the first option, when I used it infinitely, let's say all the data was empty and nothing was changing afterwards. But what will happen if I do this thing for, do that thing, I would say like infinitely running this and let's see that. So again, after pulling the data, it has what it has done is it has again given the name to headers as column 1 and column 2 and there is an error in the data type. It is unable to detect that what should be the data type of this column. 
So let's try that again and again. So what you can see is that you can infinitely just add new rows to your existing table only with the column 1 and column 2 values. So which is kind of an error for us. So these are the few loopholes. However, the advantage of this was like in the first case when I move this one, uh, let's say this was the first row and move this one to this one, this was the advantage for us. And in some cases it might be converse of it. Let's say John and 21 might have been over here. That is this thing. I would say to change type 4. Sometimes you pull in the data from the Excel, there was no header and it accidentally created those first row as header and this is the data that you received. Now you want to do the opposite of it, then you just go over here and use it as use the headers as first row. And what we get is our desired result. Now all you have to do is go over here, change the column name to name and this to age I would say. And let's click on insert. Now the next thing that is left is change the red type, this to text. And this one to I would say whole numbers. So guys, this is it for this video and I hope you liked it and learn that how we can use the first row as header and the opposite of it. So keep looking, keep learning from our channel and we will be posting all the videos related to all these options present in Power Query under the home, transform, add column and many more videos related to text as well. So stay tuned with us and please do share and subscribe to our channel and do like the video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.